What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the upcoming events you can expect to see in the Elder Scrolls Online for the next couple months. Zoss has confirmed the events. They just not have given us any concrete details on them just yet. We do know in the month of August we'll have the Year One celebration. Now in the past, the Year One celebration was Erysium, Craglorn, and Imperial City. I'm not sure if it's going to be these specific uh, areas again. I'm assuming it will be Erysium, but Imperial City was just included in the most recent PvP event. Uh, the mid-year mayhem so i'm not sure if they will do that or maybe add some other zones in things like uh you know the zone for the dark brotherhood the zones for you know the thieves guild because we do not have a thieves guild and dark brotherhood event this year but like i said in the past if you are new to the game it was Arisium, craglorn and imperial city the event was pretty much the same as the event that we're just now finishing today the elsewhere event you get your daily quest from you know doing zone rewards you get boxes uh, you get double drop on resource nodes, all, you know, like dungeon and world bosses and delve bosses drop extra loot. Same when it goes into playing, you know, like the dungeons in the certain zones. So things like uh, in the past, Imperial City has White Gold Tower and Imperial City in it. You have Maelstrom Arena uh, and Dragonstar Arena. Those are all th those things all gave double drops. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to be Arisium, Craglorn and Imperial City until we get confirmation from Zoss, but that's what it was in the past. I'm assuming they probably will keep Arisium in there. And that's a great time to go in and do your Maelstrom Arena stuff because you actually get a chance of getting double drop at the end. So you may get exactly what you're looking for. Now, the next event, which will be coming up in September, will be the Bounties of Blackwood is what uh, Zoss has confirmed this will be. Now, they have not given us any details whatsoever on this yet. Uh, last year, we did have a Merkmire event around this time. And as all of you know, Blackwood is designed like Merkmire a lot in certain areas considering, you know, Blackwood and Merkmire are right there together on the map. So I'm kind of curious if it will be a Merkmire and Blackwood event. I'm sure a lot of people would like this if that is the case, because last year during the Merkmire event, we got the Vorplasm Pet and the Woodgrave Stake Memento, and I'm sure some people would like to be able to do that again. Finding some of those fragments was kind of a pain, uh, and some people probably didn't get it finished. So I'm kind of curious if they're going to combine these two. I find it interesting that they're calling the Bounties of Blackwood, considering Blackwood was the big DLC drop, of course, for this year. It has not been out, but just a couple months here on console. And I don't think they would just do, in my opinion, just a Blackwood event. I think Merkmire may be included with it. We'll have to wait and see. And then, of course, in the month of October, we will be getting the Witches Festival. I'm sure this is the one most of you are looking forward to, because unlike the other two events that I just talked about, they're just the normal events, kind of like we had with the Elsewhere event. Uh, kind of same concept the uh, witches festival will be that same kind of event but it will have that 100 percent xp boost so a lot of people always look forward to these couple events we have a year that give that double xp you can pull out your witches cauldron and get that two hour 100 percent xp boost you know and you can do it as many times as you want as long as the event's going on this usually happens between the end of october and right at the first of november so you can expect that at that time but we're going to have three events this is going to give you the ability to finish out your tickets for the griffin and what the patch notes or the pts patch notes stated that the uh, last parts of or the last few fragments we're going to get to turn your morpholite pet into the home will start with the witches festival so you have two more events the uh, year one event and of course the bounties of blackwood to finish out your griffin and then you will have the event like i said in october the witches festival to start on getting your fragment uh, or your fragments for that home that we can turn that Morpholite pet into. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've played the game long enough to participate in some of these events in the past. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.